Meghan Markle silenced, how royal family have taken away Meghan's voice. Meghan Markle has left her acting career and closed down her social media accounts since she joined the royal family, leading academics to suggest she has been silenced. The Duchess of Sussex has suppressed her political views and stuck to her prescribed boundaries since she got married to Prince Harry last May. The paper, Meghan's Manifesto, was published by Celebrity Studies, which aims to focus on the critical exploration of celebrity, stardom and fame. The authors of the report, Laura Clancy and Hannah Elin, said, while the monarchy appears to be celebrating her diversity and modernizing influence, then, this is only permitted wishing prescribed boundaries. Markle's activist voice has been either silenced or appropriated by the monarchy. She has quit her acting career, closed down her popular blog and social media accounts for all her online activity to be ciphered through Kensington Palace. Meanwhile, Markle is said to be receiving Duchess lessons from the Queen's advisers, to be brought up to speed with protocol and expectations of life with the monarchy. The mother-to-be has fought hard for women's rights, gender equality and improved education and health services for girls around the world. Meghan was praised for her speech on feminism and women's suffrage in New Zealand in October on the 125th anniversary of women achieving the right to vote. She also spoke of her approval that New Zealand became the first self-governing country in the world to grant women the right to vote in 1893. During the week of the EU referendum in 2016, she posted a photo on her Instagram of someone holding a pro-EU sign during a protest. Meghan's views could cause issues with the royal family, who normally do not express any political opinions in public. Before President Donald Trump took office, Meghan said she would move to Canada if he ever were to become president. This comes as Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, has made an appeal to get in contact with his daughter. The 74-year-old has told ITV's Good Morning Britain he was being blanked by the Duchess of Sussex. He said, I'm not sure why it's happening, I have been trying to reach out for several weeks, every day I try to text her, but haven't received anything back. Academics have claimed Meghan Markle's activist voice has been silenced since joining the royal family. The Duchess of Sussex is the subject of a new research paper which says she has toned down her political views since her royal wedding in May. It also claims she will no longer be a campaigner for women's rights as she has been silenced by the monarchy. Meghan's manifesto, Meghan Markle and the co-option of feminism analyzes her behavior since she became a member of the royal family. The paper was published by Celebrity Studies, a journal that focuses on the critical exploration of celebrity stardom and fame. The report's authors Laura Clancy and Hannah Yellen say, while the monarchy appears to be celebrating her diversity and modernizing influence, then, this is only permitted within prescribed boundaries. Markle's activist voice has been either silenced or appropriated by the monarchy. She has quit her acting career, closed down her popular blog and social media accounts for all her online activity to be ciphered through Kensington Palace. Meanwhile, Markle is said to be receiving Duchess lessons from the Queen's advisers, to be brought up to speed with protocol and expectations of life with the monarchy. Clancy is a sociology lecturer at Lancaster University who explores the way in which the British monarchy is represented in media culture and Yulin, researches celebrity and gender issues at Oxford Brookes University. They claim Meghan's royal makeover undermines her feminist credentials. However the Duchess, who is pregnant with her first child, has a long history of charitable work and fighting for women's rights and spoke out about women's rights in October this year while on tour in New Zealand. At a ceremony marking the 125th anniversary of women getting the vote, she said, women's suffrage is not simply about the right to vote for women but to be able to participate in the choices for their future and their community. In 2015, the Duchess became the UN Women's Advocate for Women's Political Participation and Leadership. She said, Women make up more than half of the world's population, it is neither just nor practical for our voices to go unheard at the highest levels of decision-making.